is coming. Welcome to Kermode Uncut. One of my favourite films of all time has just arrived on Blu-ray here in the UK and I want to take this opportunity to flag it up. If you're a regular here at the blog, you'll know that I'm obsessed with The Exorcist and I know I go on about it endlessly, but I am equally obsessed with The Ninth Configuration, the film which William Peter Blatty, who wrote The Exorcist, wrote, directed and co-starred in at the end of the 70s, early 80s. The film is an extraordinary piece of work. It's a psychological, theological thriller about a psychiatrist who goes to a remote asylum, which is actually an old Gothic castle, and his job is to find out whether the inmates in this asylum are faking it whether they are really crazy or whether they're putting it on. In the course of doing this, he has to work with one of them who is adapting Shakespeare's plays for dogs. Do you understand that now, you dumb, stupid idiot? From now on, we do the scene my way. And also has theological discussions about the existence or non-existence of God. Now, the reason I love the film is partly because it reminds us something very important about William Peter Blatty, which is before he made The Exorcist, he was best known for working in comedy. You know the Pink Panther movie, A Shot in the Dark, which I think is arguably one of the funniest Pink Panther movies. That was co-written by William Peter Blatty. His idol when he was young was Groucho Marx. In fact, there's a very early television appearance of Blatty with Groucho Marx, and that was the area that he worked in before The Exorcist suddenly gave him a name as a horror writer. The Ninth Configuration is a wonderful story. It is equally involving and thrilling and amusing and endlessly quotable, and it also exists in several different versions. The golden globe that Blatty has for writing its screenplay actually has the name Twinkle Twinkle Killer Kane written on it because the film was variously released as Killer Kane, which is the name of the source novel, and The Ninth Configuration, which I have to say is my preferred title. And there are different versions of the films with different endings, different scenes put in, different scenes taken out. Some of them have a song at the beginning, some of them don't. I've seen at least four different cuts of The Ninth Configuration. And somehow, None of them are definitive, because frankly, it still looks, after all these years, like an ongoing work in progress. Over the years, I've done many interviews with Blatty about Ninth Configuration. I think some of those may be on the new Blu-ray. I'm not sure, because I haven't been involved in this new Blu-ray version. But here's what I want to say. If you haven't seen the Ninth Configuration yet, do yourself a favour. Check it out. It is a wonderful, life-affirming film. It's a film which manages to do the thing you really want cult cinema to do, to surprise you, to amaze you, to make you laugh, to make you gasp. Over the years, various distributors have struggled with how to sell Ninth Configuration because of Blatty's reputation as a horror writer. When the novel was first issued, it had a tagline which said, nobody writes funny lines like Blatty. Later, that novel was reissued with a tagline which said it was a tale of shrieking terror, which it isn't. What it is, is brilliantly indefinable. Many years ago, I talked on this blog about my love of Andrzej Zawowski's possession, and one of the things I loved most about that film was it's really hard to describe. The same is true of the nine configurations. I'm going to ask you to do something. Just this once, trust me.